off the day. My name is Nick and welcome to the side quest. Today's beer is 805 by Firestone Walker. 805 is a 4.7% ABV beer. It is a blonde ale and it's made by Firestone Walker. Firestone Walker is a pretty big brewery here in California. I'm pretty sure it's sort of big everywhere else. They have a pretty good barrel aging program called uh, Firestone Walker I think Barrel Works. And they make like a bunch of uh, IPAs uh, that we get here in California. I'm not too sure where they distribute, uh, but I see um, their beers uh, everywhere here. Like supermarkets, they have a very wide distribution. It's kind of interesting because Firestone Walker is no longer, or actually not for a long time, is not an independent uh, brewery anymore. I, I guess you can probably still call them craft because they they still don't they're not super mass produced but they are no longer independently owned they are owned by Duval which is a Belgian company sort of like straddles the line but the reason I picked this beer up uh, was one it's very easily available uh, at my uh, local liquor store and uh, I bought this beer when I started I bought like a, a 12 pack and. I started brewing, so my first batch of beer was a blonde ale. I have had the 714 by Bottle Logic. I used that for my style example in the Brew Quest episode. But I, I haven't had it in a while, and I don't really drink a lot of blonde ales, so I kind of wanted to get something very current, very recent, just so I can try to match up the flavor to what I was getting. So right when those beers were, or the, my first batch of a blonde ale homebrew was set to uh, be consumed like after the week of bottle conditioning and then a couple days in the fridge. I also bought uh, like a 12 pack of 805 just to try um, alongside. So I've only actually had one beer of the 805 and I'm like gonna try um, try it more. I kind of just drank it in the bottle, kind of just wanted something to drink, something really fast. I totally forgot I should have shot the video first, but uh, I'm gonna sort of still try this blind. I don't really, I wasn't really paying attention to like tasting notes or anything. I kind of just wanted to see how it tasted compared to my homebrew. Uh, so let's pour this, uh, let's pour this out. Let's see what it looks like and let's drink it. So I'll be right back after this pour. Now the pour is over, let's take a look at this beer. Carbonation is practically gone. It wasn't that much to begin with. There wasn't that much on the initial pour anyway. I don't see a lot of bubbles rising up in this beer. So kind of the carbonation is not, I thought it's a lot less than what I thought. It may not matter though. Uh, this beer is also a nice like golden amber color. Not necessarily reddish, but it's like more on the dark, like yeah, more gold than like pale, like a pale straw. So it's like nice golden color. Um, it's very clear. Like I'm very surprised at how clear this is. Nothing in the bottle, no dregs, no, no yeast, anything in suspension. It looks really good. I guess probably they filter, right? But yeah, this beer looks really good. So it's uh, got a nose on it. No hoppy aroma at all. Very light malt, um, malt character on it. Nothing crazy, it's just like, Smells like a beer. It smells like a good beer. So let's taste it. Cheers. Not bad. It goes down pretty good. Um, not nothing really crazy on the first initial sip. No noticeable hop characters. No noticeable bitterness at all. Light malt up front, and then kind of gets stronger towards the finish. Uh, no alcohol at all. No hop. No hot bitterness, really. Overall, it's a pretty good beer. Um, definitely something uh, that you can just uh, probably drink all day. I mean, it's only 4.7%, 4, 4. so it's not too bad. Funny enough, it kind of reminds me of a, of a lager, though. It's sort of like a Pilsner. It really reminds me of that German Pilsner I had, the Eyinger. Not as strong, though. I think that had like a more stronger hot presence, but like the other Pilsners I've had, very similar. Just like a light, 
light, easy to drink beer. I'm digging it. Uh, 805, pretty good beer. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. 805 is a beer you can drink all day.